The developer productivity lens is about understanding the systemic factors slowing you down. In Swarmia, you'll find carefully selected metrics based on the latest research on engineering productivity, including Dora and Space. We make sure that your team structure is accurately reflected and take into account how your teams might be using tools differently. We don't expect your teams to have perfect Jira hygiene for the data to make sense. From the organization overview, you can dive deeper into specific areas. Flow metrics, for example, show whether you're able to ship continuously without getting stuck. Typically, the first metric to improve is cycle time, because the benefits of iterating quickly are clear and it's relatively easy to improve. You can find the four Dora metrics from Deployment Insights. In each case, you can drill deeper to understand the data points behind the aggregate metrics. This is useful both for being able to explain the number, but also for the team to recognize patterns. Maybe some type of work is more likely to get stuck than another. All the data is updated in real time, so teams can come here to analyze a project they just completed. You can also export data from most views for further analysis. Focus is one of the biggest levers to improve developer productivity. You'll want to ensure your teams are working on the right things, able to prioritize their work, and consistently completing projects, wrapping up ongoing work before they pick up something new. The work log helps managers and teams diagnose activity patterns in ongoing work. Starting from the high level, you can look at activity on larger projects or drill down to the work of individual teams. In the high-level view, each cell represents a week, and the color indicates activity, where darker blue means more activity, including completed tasks, commits, pull request reviews, and so on. What we're looking to achieve is a steady staircase pattern where teams work on a manageable number of stories and complete ongoing ones before starting new ones. The anti-pattern becomes clearly visible when a team gets dragged to ever-changing new priorities or simply tries to do too many things at once. You can also zoom in further, focusing on two weeks of work at a time. In this detailed view, you'll be able to address questions like, how many user stories are we working on at once? Are we able to make progress on all ongoing stories, or are we getting stuck? Are we collaborating on larger stories? How much reactive work are we doing? When you start using the work log, you'll see that your teams work on more things than what's shown in your issue tracker. Often, even up to 60% of the work is ad hoc and doesn't appear on the roadmap. When you spot a project that needs a closer look, you can open it in the sidebar. Here, you'll see who's been working on it, as well as all of its activity, including the longest running tasks, scope creep, and progress towards completion. For a more detailed view, you can also expand it to a dedicated page. By looking at the work log in ceremonies like retrospectives, teams will learn to prioritize their time and actively address any issues in their workflow. Using metrics is a tricky topic when evaluating the performance of individuals. It's easy to do more harm than good by simply reducing individuals to a number. It's also risky to rely on metrics when coaching individuals to improve, as metrics can be gamed and don't truly represent the engineer's work. Instead of metrics, Swarmia focuses on assessing the impact of an individual by visualizing their work. This helps both engineers and their managers gain an understanding on what the engineer has been working on and identify potential areas for improvement. In the developer overview, managers can see what kind of work a developer has been doing, who they've been collaborating with, and the projects where they've had the most impact. It also offers engineers an opportunity to reflect on their past work and celebrate progress.